So I'm finishing up my ultimate um, project for the weekend. I installed the Stewart water pump, which is in there. Uh, remember when you replace the pulley onto the pump, use some anti-seize because if you have to ever remove it in the future, this tends to uh, seize onto the pump and you have to whack it with a hammer to get that out. So I just kind of bought this at uh, AutoZone. It's like 50 cents for one of these. Um, I bought two packets because I also replaced the alternator and I used some of that in alternator bolts. Important to have, when I do my projects, adapter sets for your ratchets. Um, having a ratchet in um, a ratchet kind of helps with this sort of thing. And breaker bars, very helpful in removing um, the alternator bolts from the car. Come back here. So I replaced the alternator there and um, new one, new unit. And had to move the power steering um, reservoir aside to uh, access the alternator. At the same time, I also replaced the um, the filter housing gasket that goes sort of behind the alternator. With you have to move that apart. I'm gonna have pictures on the forums of how I did that. Um, when you do the filter housing gasket, people tend to just buy the gasket, which is like a five dollar part at BMW dealership. And you may also want to replace this um, venous line, the oil line that connects the venous to the, I guess the filter housing. This actually, when I replaced the gasket a few weeks ago, the line actually, I didn't realize until after running the car, I had to remove this top um, banjo bolt. And when I went to put it back on, it was really cold that day and um, ended up twisting the, um, the line because you have to like maneuver it back in it cracked right there. I didn't see it until after I started the car and I noticed oil was just like pouring out of that thing. Uh, it only poured out when I started the car but it didn't leak during driving the car whilst the car whilst the engine was off. Um, it only leaked oil when the car was like starting. So I didn't understand why that was. But I just replaced that actually today. Um, had to remove everything sort of to get to that and to get to that. If anyone's doing work in this, it's very, very useful to have this guy. It's a ratchet in uh, wrench with the ratchet in uh, feature on it uh, because this right here is really, really, really tricky to um, put back in with your fingers or with just a regular um, wrench. Um, if the bolts are tight, you're going to need sort of a bigger wrench, which is what I bought. I may actually return this because I don't think I'm ever going to use these again, but these are very important to help. Um, tools to have nearby if you're gonna um, do the uh, filter housing gasket because chances are if you're gonna take this out and move this line it's gonna break especially if your car is old 10 10 um, 8 to 10 years old and this line's been in your car for that long it's gonna break or it's gonna leak and you might not even notice it until um, after you do the project and you realize an oil is still leaking from your car from where the um, filter um, gasket is because the oil is gonna just pour out of there. Every time you start the car, it was like maybe a spoonful of oil pouring out of that, um, whatever this line does or whatever type of oil that holds, it was just pouring out of there. So that being said, it was an easy removing alternator. I have a video showing how I did that. It's not as hard as you would think. Uh, everything else is straightforward. Um, remember when you play, remove the belts, have your little diagram for putting the belts back. Um, water pump, I put a Stewart pump in because I did not want to put back in the regular pump that came with the car. It's been on the car since I've had the car and since I guess the car left the factory. So uh, definitely replace the pump if you get a chance to do it. Even if your pump isn't failing on these cars, the M54 engine cars, it's going to fail eventually. So um, you don't want to be stranded with a pump. Uh, that's one of the flaws of this car. So the Stuart pump is lifetime, not lifetime of the car, but your own lifetime. So I just got the new electric fan right here. I also did the fan delete modification, which is what I was talking about early in this video. Um, basically, you remove the auxiliary fan, which is in front here. It's usually connected to these things. And if you ever seen a BMW, like older BMW uh, from 2000, early 2000 years, you might be behind the kidney grill usually you would see a fan or top of a fan that uh, may or may not be spinning because it's not always spinning it's just usually comes on with the air conditioning or if the car is in traffic it helps uh, with the cooling of the engine um, 
so it comes on summer time the thing with that fan that goes in the front auxiliary fan it fails slowly it's a slow failing um component but when it fails it it makes a really loud um sound when you're driving the car and if the car is in traffic or whenever you stop with a light a red light and that uh, this fan would come on it comes on really really loud so people tend to uh end up having to replace it eventually but i deleted it completely and i also deleted the engine fan the fan that goes in the end of the water pump um basically took that out I'm not going to put it back in that's what the delete is you you take out that fan and this fan two fans and you only put in one fan now this is a bear fan that I bought on ECS Tuning. One thing you might want to be careful with when installing these, I didn't realize this until just now, but I actually removed it to fix the banjo line, the Venus line, and I realized these wires are very, very, I don't know if it's cheap or if it's not done properly, but they connect to these three um, prongs that goes into the car, and this powers the fan. Um, and you know regulates the fan however the fan is gonna work with the car my brown wire my black wire was loose and not even I don't know if it happened while I was taking the fan out but it wasn't connected to anything it was just hanging the two wires in here I think red is power black is the negative and brown is ground the brown and the black was just loose so I ended up having to push them back in and taking it up so keep that in mind when you're buying this this seems to be very very cheap the fan is a quality bare fan but whatever this is, I don't know if this is an afterthought, but it's really cheaply done. So keep your eye on that when you buy these fans. Um, and this is how easy this fan goes in. No tools. You just basically drop it in there. I may have to put the iPhone down, but maybe not. I don't want to drop the fan because this is... And that's it. And then you would connect it like this um, yeah remember when you install this to connect these things out people tend to forget it um, because it goes in that easy there's literally there's a, um, a Torx bolt that goes in there and a little uh, clip that goes in that that side and that's it <laughs> and then you put the air box back on I'm gonna reattach the power steering reservoir um, and put the air box back on and uh remember to unplug the battery when you work an alternator the battery is unplugged right now so and that's it and that's the fan delete mo modification this video was about that but i ended up talking about the alternator the filter housing gasket the venos line which is very important whenever you do the filter housing this line will break especially if it's old and it's never been replaced and this is a uh, 50 dollars it's 50 dollars online or if you go to dealership it's like 80 dollars the gasket itself is five dollars i mean just buy both of them and replace them at the same time because chances are you're really gonna have the alternator out of the car to to do this work so and that's it just remember i'm gonna when i put the phone the camera down i'm gonna just attach these together remember to attach this whenever you do the fan delete people forget this i don't know why but it's been <laughs> it's been recorded on the forums that people forget to attach these um cables and that's it and with the fan delete it takes about eight pounds off the front of your car <laughs> Um, the two fans um, are about 15 pounds and this new fan is about six to seven pounds so it takes about eight seven eight pounds off the front end of your car I've been driving with this fan it's still winter in New York it's December no overheating problems the car drives actually smoother it's quieter you can actually hear the sound of the engine which is what you want to hear when you buy a BMW you don't want to hear anything else so that's that's a good good um, good thing and this cost a 200 about two hundred and fifty dollars. You could get it for two hundred dollars, but I bought it from ECS for two fifty, and um, I sold my other two fans for about two hundred dollars. So covered the cost, and that was that was um, that was it. It was a fun project. It wasn't that hard. Um, the this fan is a little tricky to come out. You just have to slide the bumper forward. You don't have to take the bumper off completely. I have a previous video showing how I did that. But um, overall, I mean, you could do this in a Saturday afternoon, Saturday, you know, during the day, a couple hours, doing the fan delete. The alternator and everything else was a different deal. And that's it.